Hey everybody, welcome back to this series here where we're looking at Kickstarters of the past that I've backed, um, going through them five games at a time, and then one non-gaming project, checking them out, see what we think of them, and this is our special Halloween episode. <laughs> um, Does it and, have anything to do with the order that stuff's on here? Um, no, but there are definitely uh, a horror story or two in here. Oh. Well, maybe just one, but mm. so yeah, let's go. Switch it up there. Oops. Um. Yeah. Okay. So the first one is Deception, oh, which is which is murder. the expansion for Deception. Yes. Um, murder and Hong Because I think there was a yes. I think there was a Kickstarter for the first one, but I didn't. I don't think I knew about it back then. No. Um. Yeah. So this is for the expansion. Okay. Um. I love I love Deception. Mm -hmm. Fifty five dollars there for all kinds of stuff. Uh, yeah, it came with. See, w when you back the Kickstarter, you got the uh, the big box that it all fits in. Okay. Because if you buy it now, that 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 expansion is in like you know like a tiny box. Did we have a different box before? Like I don't. Uh, yes, we would have. Oh, I don't even uh, remember. Whatever the normal box is, uh, yeah. it's probably not pictured here. But no, probably not. no. That's that's the only one we have. But no, currently. No. Yeah, new cards, new rolls, new bananas. Stuff. Badge tokens. Right. So there was tons of stretch goals, which is just, you know, more cards. A new um, roll card. Accomplice. Yeah. A clever accomplice. Okay. The thing is, we never play with no, enough no. people to, like, mm -hmm. use all those extra ones. No. You can play with, like, 15 people or something no. with this with we, this expansion. We played with an accomplice, like, once or twice. But... Yes. And when we had, like, seven or eight people. Mm -hmm. Which I guess we could mix these in, but we never yeah. have. Um yeah, and then this also came with, yeah, like all these uh, theme packs. We have those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then these upgraded pieces. Right. Wasn't one of them broken? Yes, one, we, we one, of the, the uh, one of the little microscopes is broken. And then like the metal badges. But yeah. Didn't we? We fixed it though, didn't we? Sorry. Maybe. Oh. Just don't oh. use that one, <laughs> That's which is possible. There's the original box, right? There. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember that box. Um. Yeah, so stretch goals, more cards, more stuff. Well, um yeah there we have seen tiles yeah. yeah we have a packed full box full yeah. of stuff you could we could play like a bunch of times in a row and not see the same thing oh, a lot of times in a row if yeah. you just go through the deck yeah um yeah this is like one of my favorite games yep. definitely one of my favorite like party social yes. deduction type games which we have not had people a lot uh, large there, amounts of people no we could they... probably play it with five people just the five of us and it would work but yeah um we, we haven't so yeah and deception Great, great campaign, great game. Love it. Mm -hmm. Next one, Love Formula. Oh, we have not played this game. <laughs> yeah, so this was a anime style game. Yeah. Where you like play a matchmaker, I guess, and you have to like hook couples up. Yeah, we've never actually played it. No. There was uh, it is Japan to me games, but but there was like one guy I think that made this one in particular because you can see it says Gwyn Games on there also, mm. and I don't think he was even done with the game by the time like this Kickstarter was out, so it took a long time for this to deliver. It's a really weird box shape too. It is. It's like yeah. a weird oblong yeah type box. Oops. It it doesn't always uh fit on the shelf very well. So yeah, never actually played it. No, it's just sitting on the shelf. And we have a mat for it too. Uh, do we? Is it? No, that's not a mat. That's a rule book. Well, we have we have a mat for it. I know we do. Uh, so, oops. We should probably play this one of these days. We should. Like I said, it took years for this to deliver. Mm -hmm. And we definitely did not spend a hundred dollars for it. It was only twenty five dollars. Well, that's pretty cheap. Yeah. Um, like three hundred dollars. Wow. That's... Did anybody back for three hundred dollars? Five people did. Wow. Five <laughs> people were really into this. There's game. like tons of play mats. I don't even know. Sleeves, like all kinds of stuff, whatever. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even know. I don't remember what our play mat looks like, but we have Um, one. Is it one of these? Is, is it just the normal, like. It, it might be. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't know. I haven't looked at it in a long time. Yeah. So I think we had to add that on for $35 oh, to do that. You probably did. Like this? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I think so. Okay. Yeah. I don't think you got the delicious food one, which you should. I know I should have, right? Yeah. I think this, but this one has spots for all the cards, right. so I think that's right. Why I, I get it. I, I did that one. I get it. So it cost me more than twenty five dollars, probably. Oh well. Oh uh, well. Yeah. Well, we should play it one of these days. We should. 
they should and check it out. Make some uh, matches and see if it sucks and if we need to get rid of it. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> because we'll find out. It's been years. Years to deliver, years sitting on the shelf. All right, the next one. Heroes Wanted, the final expansion. Uh, <laughs> oh, we haven't played this either. We have, we've we played the game. Yes. Once. Once. <laughs> we have all the things for the game. I know. It's a, it's a neat game. Yes. Where you are superheroes. Yes. And as seen in this little graphic here, um, you get like dealt random, like, heads and bodies yeah and it's that, like reminded of the flip book that you had as a kid to yes, switch them all yes. up and it that's how you like determine your hero and then there's just like scenarios that you have to do right. or whatever i don't exactly remember i remember it being fun yeah so like one of the main issues with this game that one of the big complaints that i think it is a liked game is that it's very programmed because i don't know if you remember that scenario where we played where it actually shows the paths of like the enemies on the board so like they're they're pretty scripted what they do oh i don't remember there's no like deck of cards that tells you what the enemies do or whatever they they're it's like pre-scripted onto the board so they're like I, I, there was like a street or something you had to defend and it shows them like going like there's arrows on the board going down the d street or something i don't uh, know yeah it's been too long um so yeah but i remember seeing it at grand con we got the game we got expansions with it then as well yeah like everything they had released and, up until that point yeah and then obviously we backed for another expansion and still haven't played it <laughs> well, yeah this was one of those things i was like should i back this and you're like yes so i did and yes, with good intentions uh, i know that's, that's the way it always goes right yeah. so this it's a fun game we should probably get back to it grayson would probably like it yeah or maybe we maybe we won't like it anymore Maybe not. Maybe. We'll, we'll have, we have to try and play and see. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. All right. And the next horror story is Out of the Woods. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it was a cute little box. It was yep. a very interesting artwork yep. box. And the cards are great and everything. And it's basically, you know, it was awful. <laughs> right. So great art because this American McGee, he, uh, He's done like a lot ton of art for like he did that. There was a video game based on his art. Alice Madness or yeah, something. Yeah, it was like the PS2 or something, but yeah, or the computer. I don't know. Yeah, um, I think so it was a PC game. Yeah. So we based, we backed it based on his art because mm -hmm. his art is really cool. Mm -hmm. Just a deck of cards, basically a card game. That little scarf playing yep. mat. Yeah, yep, got that. Mm -hmm. Um, right looks beautiful like a beautiful production on it where it's like a little box like that looks like a book a yeah book um and the game is just not there the game was literally just stupid no yeah it was not good You're like oh it was not fun to play no it <laughs> we, was never ending i think we did i think we ended up just Uno, right like right. it's it's one of those things where just it's a slog to play right i think we just gave up uh, eventually Possibly. i don't i don't think we we were at a point where no matter what we did it was just like you played your card and then you canceled my card and like <laughs> so, it, yeah it, it was just yeah, it was irritating it was yeah um, it was not great at all unfortunately believe, and yeah. we sold it pretty much right away right for a couple of bucks yeah maybe the next people had more fun with it hopefully but see, as you can see here there was a book like an art book that was also offered yes. maybe we should have backed for that instead right like that wolf is super cool yeah um but yeah the game was not unfortunately yeah in hindsight we should have backed for maybe like look at that so you can get that as an art print too yeah super super awesome it's like a, right. a poster yeah yeah like i, I love fairy tales i uh, dark you know, fairy tales yeah. especially yeah yeah and uh, this was so like right up my alley but no the game was terrible no terrible it did take a while to deliver, I think, too, but it was fine. You know what I mean? It's just, right. I wasn't, it wasn't worried about that. No. Yeah. It wasn't terrible that I like, super bad or anything. Well, but... you know how it goes if it's, like, two months after the people start complaining in the comments. Mm, and... This is true. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, uh, oh, well. Yeah. It was just not there. It's left of the collection. It has. Okay. And the final horror story for today is these adventure game mats. Um... Yeah, which you don't even... No. You probably don't even have any recollection of this. Well, I mean, it looks like one of the ones for the Game Topper, like with the, you know, yes, this was this would have been and... pre Game Topper, though. Yeah. Um, okay. So these mats, it was 30 bucks for two of them, which is cheap. Um, I backed them with the intention of like just playing with them with Grayson because mm -hmm. he, he had gotten, remember, he got like a, like a, uh, 
box of hero clicks from like one of our friends uh aaron right yeah I he, think said, aaron said he had a bunch us. of hero clicks he wasn't playing with so he yeah. just like mailed them to us <laughs> yeah We're like oh cool so what do we do with these so like oh like it's a grid mm-hmm. like a dungeon grid or we, right. we have other mini just random minis too that yeah we could have just uh, my intention was just to kind of play with them mm-hmm. just um have fun on the table the problem was they never shipped oh it was pretty much a scam oh i don't know if anybody ever got them like, do you remember which ones you chose? Uh, maybe this one, because I remember that one looking cool. It was kind of like a maze, right? Like the Minotaur Yeah, the Minotaur maze. Labyrinth maze. Yeah, I don't, other than that, I don't know. Um, yeah, it was a scam. They ran away with the money. I know they tried to uh, kickstart like a game, I think a game game after this, and then it got suspended by Kickstarter or, or canceled by Kickstarter for some reason. Because they didn't Probably a shady list, company or... that, yeah, they were just, it was the uh, scam. Data Interactive? Yeah. Ew. Can, yeah. Yeah. Don't. Yeah, let's not even do that. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was a scam. Lost uh, thirty bucks. I mean, not it's not 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 dogs at the end. Of the game, but it was, <laughs> I know, but it was still like, irritating that yeah. like oh yeah, it was something I was looking forward to just kind of messing with. And yeah, mm-hmm. great. So after all the horror stories, we have a success story. Ah. And that is Industrial Accident, the story of Wax Track Records. Yeah. Which is a uh, which is a documentary that uh, Julia Nash made here. Um, mm-hmm. Her dads started a store they moved from colorado to uh chicago okay to start a record store actually i think they had a record store in denver but like you know there were an out gay couple in colorado it was not a very welcoming place i guess at that time you know in like the late 70s early 80s Mm -hmm. late 70s i guess so they moved to chicago and they ended up starting a record label and it's one of my favorite record labels. And yeah. This was a really good. Uh, here's the thing, though. With this, they didn't actually offer like the documentary as a uh, as a reward. So I just got a T-shirt and I bought oh. the documentary later. Okay. Um. Yeah. Just they, uh, fun the documentary with. Yeah, I think you could get like tickets to the premiere or something like it's uh, in here. You know, uh, it was like yeah, the records and mm. I thought that was in there, but I don't even know. That one's a higher one. Front 242 Deluxe Box. Yeah, just like rarity stuff. Single box. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't know, like print pressings, of, test pressings of albums. Frontline Assembly. It's a ton of stuff. Uh, yeah. Lunch like, for two with Richard 23 <laughs> for $1,500. Front 242. Yeah, so anyway, um, a lot of my favorite bands came from this. Um, there's Right there is Frankie from uh, Thrill Kill Cult, which is the shirt I have on today. In honor of that. Nice. Um, yeah, so this was a fantastic project. A really interesting documentary. Even if you kind of maybe don't care that much about the music, it's still an interesting story about this couple that, you know, mm-hmm. started a record store and kind of, you know, yeah. pioneered Industrial the, music. Yeah, the, yeah. the label that a lot of this music came from. So right. um, I have that white shirt right there. Yeah. That's what I got. Right. In hindsight, maybe I could have thrown a little bit more money, but hey, who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah. Nothing bad to say about this one. No. And there's Sasha from uh, KMFDN. Yeah. Do and then she does it. Is it Julia or is it somebody else from Wax Tracks that does the the Twitch? The, yeah, there's a Twitch stream DJ's party stream. I think that's the their granddaughter. Okay. I don't remember her name, but that's Julia's daughter. I okay. Believe. There's Egan from. Uh, I can only remember the name. No. Oh, uh, Fugazi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think uh, Steve Albini is also in here. There they are. The two guys that started it all. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, cool. big fan of that one. Happy to throw money at that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's our uh, picks for this week. Um, like I said, there's some horror stories in there. Unfortunately, <laughs> where like games we got didn't like, mm. games we got never played. Yeah. And games well play but, mats that we never got. <laughs> That's true. So, what do you know, right? Yeah. Um, That's. I, I feel like enough time has passed. I'm not bitter about any of those anymore. No. So, <laughs> all right. Well, I guess that wraps up this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> Pretend it didn't already. Uh... We have sound. Yeah. Pretend it didn't. We didn't already record this once without sound. Yeah.